My name is Tyrone Smith. I'm an artist. I go by the name of Malfi Dupree. I've been volunteering with Mike Easy for seven years and was the first ambassador with them, Claiborne Carter Ambassador Program. Here's my certificate from the city of New Orleans. I work to install and advocate for complete street projects all over Central City. I'm here to take you on a bike tour of Central City in New Orleans, the neighborhood I lived in and have all my life. Central City is an area full of culture, art, music, and great people. If you're looking for a second line in the city, sometimes you just have to follow the music. Yo, this is the beginning of Central City. You're on Aretha Council Haley. In my back, it would be Jackson Avenue. There's a lot of nonprofit organizations along this strip, as long as restaurant. We even have a boxing club. Here's some art that we have in, in the community. Right over here, showing you different ele elements of our culture that we have here in the city of New Orleans. For our first stop on the tour, we're going to visit the McKenna Museum of African American Art. Hi, Kim. I'm Tyrell. Could you tell me a little bit about the museum? Yeah, so this space is about 6,000 square feet. We have 11 gallery spaces in this one building, and it was built in 1859 by a gentleman named Thomas Leather. Thomas Leathers was famous because he was a steamboat captain during the period of enslavement. And so this home is actually thought to be where he housed his cargo. So this would have been, it is believed to be an enslaved holding house. Uh, this is some of the fathers, mothers, grandmothers, grandfathers of the modern black arts movement. So you can highlight Henry Oswald Tanner, who was here, who was the first internationally acclaimed African-American artist, period. Um, he actually became an expat. He lived the majority of his life in Paris. Here's the majority of work in here. It's the American artist named Org Non Pierre. He was born in Haiti. All of this artwork is a connection between New Orleans and Haiti. This idea that a lot of things that we do as Native New Orleanians, we wouldn't do it had not been for the Haitian Revolution and this large body of people coming from Haiti into New Orleans. So an example of that is the Ra Ra which is a uh, traditional, what we like to, what we call a second line. Um, it's a street festivity that takes place the day before Easter. And you get to see the traditional African drums, uh, instruments that would have been used in Aurora. And then we have a modern day second line uh, featuring the Sugar Baroness, which in this instance is being downed by Diane Honore. So this is our Black Male Gallery. Okay. Where we feature and highlight paintings depicting Black men and in the various aspects of their lives. If you look, we have a shoe shine guy. We have someone being accosted by the police. Ending with this painting back here, which I think tells the story, I am a man. And we're very proud of what we've been able to do, what we've been able to preserve, and the story that we are able to tell is a history that we have been robbed of. Yes. It's amazing. Some very interested pieces in But thank you very much for having Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, Ms. McKinley. Now let's go meet our friend, Patrick from Brew Crew, at one of our many blue bike hubs in Central City. I know that uh, blue bike's been always in Central City. Why have y'all focused on that? 
Yeah, since since Blue Bikes launched in 2017, it's always been something that's been driven by the community. So when we originally launched our program, we know that here in New Orleans, one in four households don't have access to a motorized vehicle. Within our service system, that number jumps to one in five. So we're really committed to ensuring that the folks in our community have access to high quality, reliable, environmentally friendly, and fun transportation. So here in Central City, you know, we're right here at the corner of St. Charles and Arado. There's a couple different locations where you can pick it up. And what we try to do is make sure that our stations are located near RTA lines. So, you know, right behind us, we have the streetcar line. You can hop off the streetcar, hop right onto a Blue Bikes and continue your trip. We also have some, some bikes available over on LaSalle, as well as on OCE Haley Boulevard. And all you can do, you download that app, and then from there, you're able to see where all the different stations are located. But again, it's, it's that, that easy way to continue your journey, no matter where you're going, by bus, by streetcar, however you're trying to get to where you go, Blue Bikes is there. like to show you Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Well, when I was a youngster, I saw this hill sculpture being made at Xavier University. And here it is today standing so many years later from 76, where there's a symbol and the hands represent the kids are now today are walking hand in hand, playing along and just enjoying life. This street will be getting protected bike lanes for the people. Just a short ride down O.C. Haley from MLK. We're going to stop at Cafe Reconcile for a delicious lunch. How you doing? Welcome to Cafe Reconcile. Thank you. How you doing? My name's Teddy. I'll be a surfer. What can I get for you? Uh, the catfish batter with the potato salad and the iced tea. Okay. Did you like that? Fried little gear. Fried. What else can I get for you? Could you tell me about your uh, internship with Cafe Reconcile? They help me learn the things about myself each and every day. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Tyrone. How you doing? Monique Robinson, nice to meet you. Welcome to Cafe Reconcile. So we're a workforce training program. We work with young people 16 to 24 years old. Um, they could be in school or out of school. Uh, we connect them to training, uh, employment opportunities after they graduate, counseling, mentorship. Um, it's a 14 week program, so about three and a half months that young people come here and train front of house, back of house, events and catering. We just made our 22 year anniversary uh, last month of September. Um, and so what the Central City community uh, means to reconcile is looking to develop new talent, the next generation of young people who can contribute um, to our community, whether it's in Central City or the greater New Orleans area. Young people 16 to 24 can apply at www.cafereconcile.org. We have Delgado come in and they teach a college prep class on Mondays from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Um, so it's not just the training and connection to employment, but we also connect them to post-secondary uh, opportunities to continue the education after Reconcile. We're constantly recruiting, um, so get the word out. Thank you for coming and continuing to be a customer. Yes, it was nice meeting you again, Mr. Tyrone. All right, have a good day. Okay. We're going to stay on O.C. Hill and bike down to Ashley Culture Arts and to learn more about the great works this organization is doing. Ali, I'm Tyrone Smith. So, so nice to meet you, Mr. Tyrone. Thank you for coming here to Ashe Cultural Arts Center. We're always excited to have people just drop in and um, old friends and new. Oh, today, can you uh, give me a little bit more 
detail of what Ashe is all about. Ashe Cultural Arts Center, the word Ashe means so be it, same as amen, let it be. And we work in our community. We've been here going into our 25th anniversary now. Our 25th anniversary is next year. And we'll have all types of big celebrations to remember where we came from. A small ballroom building right here. Very small space. <laughs> Dirty and unused for years. And it is now what you see today. And we believe from birth to grave that our shade can be part of making our community a better place. When this boulevard that today we know as Aretha Castle Haley Boulevard, Dryad Street, the cultural hub, the economic heartbeat of our city and many of the artists that have grown up in this city, when we could not go to the downtown businesses, the black and Jewish community came together and we created our own economic center. Ashe and Cafe Reconcile saw the importance of this boulevard to our culture and our history. And people asked, why are you going there? And it says, because this is where our people were and this is where our people will be. And we're going to build a place that our people can come to. But throughout the years, Ashe has been a partner to AARP, and AARP has been a partner to us. Often the folks that were sitting at that desk were sent to us through AARP and their work programs. Uh, we've partnered with Blue Bikes since we've been in this neighborhood. Um, one of our group, Sisters Making a Change, we've gone on Blue Bike rides um, and uh, encouraged that here in this neighborhood. We started off here knowing that these children should be free to walk in this store and find community. Hey babies, how y'all doing? And it's that for all of the whole, our people. The direction that we intend to continue to go in is to make this place a place where we can be a funnel for information. That people can come and find out what's going on, not only here at Ashe, but what's going on in the community. Last week, we had the young folks bringing voter information to us, and we've done blue bike rides and other rides to take people to the polls. But if you want to know more about, because there's so much, stop right by this building at 1712 Aretha Castle, Italy. And it all stands on Mama Carol B. Bell and her, she and Baba Douglas Red, who said, we're going to build a place that our community can come to, that our community can flourish, and that all of the arts of the African diaspora can help them meet those goals of wellness, of economic freedom, of cultural knowledge. We deserve that. We're going to bike down to A.L. Davis Park next. A.L. Davis is a culture hub in Central City. Many second lines in here. And during the Super Sunday, it's packed with vendors and people. They have programming year-round community meetings, and right across the street is the Mardi Gras Indian Council. We're going to end our tour biking to Happy Rapster Distillery, a local distillery company doing great community work, and of course, with delicious cocktails. Hi, I'm the Abes and Partnerships Manager here at Happy Rafter. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So how did you get here today? I bike. Awesome. <laughs> did you know we have a 10% discount for bikers here at Happy Rafter? Yeah, me too. Um, it's something we've been doing with Bike Easy for a while now. And um, yeah, we're really passionate about that. Well, now, how long have Happy Rafter been here? 
Well, Happy Raptor's been here for a couple years now. We opened our doors February 14th, 2020, a couple hours before the first Uptown Parade, and then we shut back down uh, three, four weeks later for the pandemic. <laughs> so we've had a interesting couple of years, but we're surviving and fighting. Yeah. Could you tell me more about the complete streets for bikers that will be coming here? Absolutely. Well, the Complete Streets uh, Coalition is working uh, to make MLK Junior Boulevard a complete street. <laughs> and once that happens, our um, our guests and our employees will have a safe and reliable complete street to get to Happy Raptor, which will be beneficial, especially hopefully by Mardi Gras, and it will allow more visitors to get to Central City. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tyrone. It was lovely meeting you. Try to resolve. Awesome, thank you. And AARP and Bike Easy are always welcome here at Happy Raptor. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for joining me on the ride. Check out these and other great businesses in Central City.